please note, be sure to read the herbicide label and to follow legislation, regulations, and bylaws pertaining to herbicide use in your area. The Invasive Plant Council of BC has created this video to help ensure that backpack sprayers are calibrated properly. Proper calibration will enable applicators to deliver the correct dosage of herbicide to target invasive plants. It is important to consider all elements of integrated pest management prior to applying herbicides and to follow the legislation and regulations for applying herbicides in your area. IPCBC recommends calibrating your backpack regularly at the beginning of every season, each time you move to different terrain as your ground speed will fluctuate, if you're changing nozzles, and at a minimum every 10 days. In this video, we will lead you through the three steps for properly setting up your backpack sprayer. Preparation, calibration, and calculation. Step one, preparation. Proper safety gear should be worn while calibrating to protect yourself from any herbicide residue. Boots, coveralls, gloves, and safety goggles. Ensure your backpack is clean and rinsed. Inspect the screens and nozzles and the hoses for wear and tear. Replace any worn parts prior to using. Fill the backpack with water to one of the middle graduation lines. Check the pump for leaks and repair immediately. Using a measuring tape and ribbon, measure out a 10 meter by 10 meter square area. Step two, calibration. Use a stopwatch to time how long it takes you to spray the area. Spray the entire area at a consistent pace, one that you would match in the field. Maintain the same pressure throughout the spray operation by pumping your tank every third step or so. The goal of this is to ensure that your backpack and your spraying technique together deliver the correct amount of herbicide. Step three, calculation. Before you add any chemical to your backpack, you must first determine your delivery rate. Remember, the delivery rate is based on how quickly you move through the area and how effectively your backpack delivers the water. You need to do three things to determine your delivery rate. First, figure out how much spray you used in your test in liters. Second, figure out how big your test area is in hectares. And third, use these two numbers to calculate delivery rate in liters per hectare. In figuring out your delivery rate, the first thing you need to do is calculate how much water you used in your test strip. You can calculate this volume in two ways, the volume method or the timed method. The volume method. You would choose this method if you don't have a stopwatch. After you've done your 10 by 10 meter test strip, you'll refill your backpack with a measuring cup, noting how much water it takes to fill the backpack back up to the original mark. Record this amount in liters. You now know how much volume you've sprayed over the test area. A different way to determine the volume you sprayed over the test area is to use the timed method. You can use this method if you have a stopwatch. Make sure you time how long it takes you to spray your test area. Mark down this time in seconds. Return to your calculation station and spray water from your backpack into a measuring cup or bucket for the same amount of time. Write down how much volume in liters was sprayed into this container. This is the volume of water you used when spraying your test strip. Now you've completed step one by either using the volume method by refilling your backpack up to the original line or using the timed method by timing how long it takes to spray your test strip and measuring the volume you spray into a container in the same amount of time. You now know the volume in liters applied to your test strip area. You're ready for step two. Determine how big your test strip area is. 
simply multiply the length in meters by the width in meters. Then you divide by 10,000 to convert the area to hectares. To simplify things, always use a test strip that is 10 meters by 10 meters. Then you know your area is one hundredth of a hectare or 0 0.01 hectares. Step 3. Calculate. Plug in the numbers you already calculated in steps 1 and 2. Volume from step 1 divided by how big your test area is from step 2. The result is your delivery rate. The final step before you head out and spray is to calculate how much chemical to add to your backpack. Begin by reading the herbicide label completely. The label contains important information on the herbicide application rate, regulated uses of the herbicide, along with information on environmental and safety precautions, first aid, storage, and cleanup. So, to calculate the amount of chemical to add, you need to know three things. One, the herbicide application rate. You should have noted this when reading through the herbicide label. It is usually listed in liters per hectare and is different for each herbicide product. Two, the backpack capacity. Usually 15 liters is a full backpack. Three, the delivery rate in liters per hectare that you just calculated in step three. Now you take the application rate, which you found on your herbicide label, multiply by the backpack capacity, and divide by the delivery rate. This gives you the amount of herbicide to add to your full backpack. Remember, it's really important that you wear your protective gear whenever you're around herbicides. You must also follow regulations, legislation, and any local bylaws that might govern pesticide use in your area. And make sure to recalibrate accordingly. For more information, call 1-888-WEEDS-BC or go to our website at www.invasiveplantcouncilbc.ca. There are also a few other resources you can check out for more information on pesticide use.